Okay, so multiplying numbers together. So now we want to be thinking about a times by a. And what's that going to be? It's going to be a squared. Okay? And if we did that more than once, a times a times a times a, that's going to be a to the power of 4. Okay, what about if we then want to do a squared add a, sorry, times, not add, a squared times a to the 4. Well, again then, like we did with our adding, we'd have a times a times a times a times a times a. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'd have a to the power of 6. Basically, if we're ever timesing two powers together, so a to the 3 times a to the 6, that just equals a to the 3 plus 6. We just add the powers together, so it just equals a to the 9. Same if we were dividing, so if I had a the 7 divided by a to the 3, that would equal a to the 4, a to the 7 minus 3. Now, I don't like divide signs like that, to be completely honest with you. From now on, when you see me do divide, it will be like this. Okay? The reason for that, because it makes a lot more sense, we could then have a times a Okay, and we can then see straight away that cancels with that, that cancels with that, that cancels with that. And we're left with our a to the 4. You can't see that with a standard divide sign. This means divide from now on. So, going back to my mistake I made earlier, I almost put a plus in between. And what would have happened if I did put a plus in between? So, what would have happened if I had put a squared plus a to the 4? Absolutely nothing. It would have stayed a squared plus a to the 4. You can't add different powers together. So, some more stuff for you. Go away, try the questions on those. Come back, we'll look at some more in depth after.